previously on Raven Willow Farmstead. We made it to New Brunswick. This is home. Oh, there's still a camper in there. So we're here. We're home. <laughs> Our new home. And this is what we have to deal with. We knew the property was not going to be left in great shape. We knew there was going to be a concrete pad and a couple campers and some trash. But I don't think we figured it would be like this. We were kind of in a little bit of shock. We knew the situation was not going to be great. It was going to be bad. But we didn't know it was going to be this bad. So we backed our trailer up, assessed our situation, and started getting busy. There was a lot to clean up. There's a ton of work to do before we can even think about putting our house here. Yes, there is a shed. like a solid structure but again they left it in just such disarray such a huge mess oh and trampolines there's two trampolines over there this is home once we uh once we clean it up look what i found let's show, show me Where'd you find him? In the junk. <laughs> In the junk. Just still a little boy at heart, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's more stuff in here. So upon exploring the woods, we found more junk. <laughs> a couch, an old couch. The actual property is beautiful. Really nice mature trees. be a maple tree over there but yeah this is just somebody's junk pile rubs trudging over there through the forest and lots of like wood materials that we could use oh big wood pile a stove what the heck is this Pay him that twelve thousand. <laughs> Honestly, with how he's left it, yeah. It's a huge raspberry patch, but it is just a junk pile. If I could get that thing going. Yeah, if it'll work. We'll change. The tires look like they're decent. We thought we'd found like a little gem with this tractor, but unfortunately the previous owner wanted it back. If only he had taken it with all the broken glass and nails that we had to clean up. Oh look, and there's hedge trimmers. Perfect. Need what is this thing? Is this a trap for an animal? That is a live animal. Oh, okay. Oh, does it go farther? It was at this moment we realized there was more. Oh no. I see more junk. Did they just take the whole neighborhood's junk and toss it down here? I don't know. The people might have started doing something. Are there people that still live down there? Like, should we be worried?
into the jungle. We must go. So we suited up and decided to do some uh, exploring and some trailblazing. Just to the right, if you can believe it, this was a makeshift goat shed from a while back. We were told that somewhere on the property we could find a well and a septic system, but nobody could find it with all these weeds, so we're trying to keep an eye out for it. Who's your apple? Oh, yes. The apple tree. We also wanted to see if we could find the creek that was running in the back part of our property. And then, like, kids' chairs. All this junk. They made a swing. And a punching bag station. And then this is the back of the trailer. Wow. Yeah. And then this is his. That we purchased from him. Oh, okay. So this would have been where our property started? This would have been our, where our property started. Oh wow. Is this the, what is this? I don't know. Oh. Okay. That's where he buried his dog. He buried his dog? Yeah. Oh. And this wouldn't be the last strange thing we learn about the property. The locals tell some pretty crazy stories. A burn line. Burn line. It's like a trench. It's to mark the property line but it was off by that much. When we had originally purchased the back 50 acres, uh, we were assured that it had about 175 feet of road frontage. After having it professionally surveyed, it turns out that the pie-shaped property in front of our acreage actually blocked our road frontage. So we had to negotiate to purchase a piece of, of that pie piece, so then we could restore our road access. There's a mushroom in the back here. Are we going south? Are we going more to the side? Oh. I don't know. Those mushrooms look familiar, but until we know how to identify them, obviously we're not eating them. That's your footing, like kick forward before you step down. Yep. Kind of already a trail here. So as we tried to trailblaze through the forest here, we we're kind of overwhelmed by the sheer vastness of the bush and just how thick it was. We were trying to find the little creek that was running in the back of our property or an animal trail that might lead us there. One of the crazy things we started learning about the property is the stories that the locals had to say. Every time that we had a new contractor or somebody come onto the property to give us a quote, they'd tell us how they recognized this property. They knew exactly where this was and they'd share with us the stories that had happened on this property. Stories that I'm not quite sure <laughs> are YouTube uh, friendly, but if you talk to any of the locals in the area, it's pretty darn right spooky, some of the things that took place here. But that didn't deter us. We took that almost as some inspiration. The plans that we had for this property, we would be turning its reputation around and be more of a light to the community than the darkness that it's held up to this point. Like once we make a trail to the very back. Of the property? Yeah. Well then we can start trying to figure out a perimeter. Whoa, Ben! He's such a happy dog, he gets to run. Yeah. The mushroom tree. Yeah, we'll leave that up. <laughs> Are those, um... Oh, I don't know anything about mushrooms. It kind of looks like those angel wings, but I'm not sure. That's so cool. I've never seen a mushroom like that. Is this maple? No. Maybe. 
Looks like maple leaves. So green. Making a path. Rob's happy he gets to use his praying. Let's call him Viking Rob. Bushman Rob. This is our new setup. We've moved from across the way because they had to pull that shed out this morning. The guy that we bought this property from, he wanted that shed back. So they came and they got it and they took it away. But we had to move over here, which is fine. We eventually will be just like scrubbing this entire place with an excavator. So we'll just have them start on that side and then they can work on this side once we move over there. And all this will be gone very soon. This is my new home. There is a lot of junk left behind in this thing. More garbage than can be seen in just this quick video. Well, some might see a pile of rubble, a huge mess, a concrete pad that's no good, a burnt house that's just been pushed over the hill over there, I see potential. Because behind these trees are 50 acres of life-giving land. And that's what we intend to do, is to turn this land into orchards and gardens and livestock. But it all has to begin somewhere. And so our journey begins. Thank you.